this is Stelios from Batman TV with my very first Lego Batman movie reveal. This is the Bat Doom buggy. It's set 70918. It's recommended for ages 7 to 14. And when it came out in the UK, it was £20. And when it came out in the US, it was $20. So that's a good deal. Now we're going to go into the packaging of the set, which is the actual review. So. Let me move everything out so we can get a better look at this. So, here on the top right hand corner, we have Von Bin, I think, Batman, which I'm annoyed he doesn't have the glowing blue eyes like he did in the movie. Um, and Batgirl. So, we, up here, we have the logo, we have all of the minifigures. Captain Boomerang looks really cool, and here on the back inside I put the instructions and I don't have too much artwork but they do have some advertisements for the other sets which I'm going to look for and so far the only one I'm missing is that on the Joker Manor but I actually really don't want to get the Joker Manor <laughs> because it's not a Wayne Manor set like I've always wanted Lego to make a Wayne Manor but they don't so boo well anyway let's get into the build so the main build of the set is the Bat Dune buggy. A really weird <laughs> design. I mean, I understand it's something based off a Lego movie, but it's just really weird. Like, in here we can put Batman, but I'll get to him later. And you do have these nice Batwing pieces, and you can actually do it, and it, it, and it has some stud shooters. Oh, uh, whoopsie. But yeah, it's it studs, so nothing super new, and <laughs> these accidentally fell off. But yeah, nothing too much to say here. We do have a lot of lights, but yeah, not much. But now we're going to get into the minifigures. So first off, we're going to get the main reason why I have this set as a review. It's this fantastic Captain Boomerang minifigure, and I'm, let's get a close up on him. I'm not gonna lie, this is a fantastic Captain Boomerang minifigure. Like, I really like the leg printing and the torso printing. A, a really useful face design, but the cat would be so much more useful if it didn't have the boomerang. We have this really nice, um, colourful the new boomerang pieces, which I think are really nice. I can't get enough of them. Oh, and also these um dual molded legs would be so much more useful if they didn't have the bam. Um, Captain Boom, um, Boomerans. I keep forgetting what they're called. <laughs> oh, anyway, and that's it for Captain Boomerang. And then we're gonna go on to what probably might be the most boring figure, Batman. So he does have my favourite face print for the Lego Batman movie. There's the alternate face. Underneath we have some nice back printing, but it's nothing like <laughs> super exciting. And this is actually the same one from the DC Superhero sets and that Junior set, which I will review another day. But without the utility belt, I'm not sure how I like it that much. I prefer it when the utility belt is printed. It makes less pieces, but it's okay. It does have my favourite kind of Batman cowl. Like, it fits the cowl in the original movies, but they use a different cowl for the Lego um, Justice League Batman vs Superman and all the other DCEU Batman film sets. So I'll put everything together. So now we're going to go on to the final road. So overall, I think that this set is a really um good set. It's like not one of my favourite like a Batman movie sets, but in, oh, in my opinion, I think that the Bat Dune buggy is a much better Bat buggy than the one in the uh, Ray Shargall set from the DC Superheroes line and the minifigures, Batman is nothing interesting but Captain Boomerang is incredible so overall on a scale of 1 to 10 for this set I rate this set a 7 out of 10 I feel like they could have done better but it's okay so thanks for watching this video and I'll see all of you in the next video goodbye and have a nice day